All right, now it's time to test Zilla against an Alpha Megapithecus, because I'm super curious how this will go down. He's level 25. That's not like much put into it. I feel like they could easily be much stronger. All right, let's get it all, little man. There's no way. <laughs> Welcome. Today is an amazing day. Godzilla 1998, or the copyright safe Ark Survival Evolved version known as Godzilla Ark, has finally been added to Ark Ascended. It's so much more beautiful than it used to be, too. In the old Ark, it's like crazy more detailed, got all these animations. It's got a baby form shrine summoning all this crazy stuff. I'd show it off in my survival series, but we're nowhere near able to craft wood yet because you need elements and you need a bunch of other stuff. You basically need to craft a fertilized egg, but to craft the fertilized egg, there's like a 10 step detailed process to acquire said egg, which we're gonna get in today. Then we're gonna check out Godzilla because it's got a freaking baby form, like legitimately from the scene in the, in the theater or the, the Madison Square Garden where there are a bunch of babies. Leave a like if you guys love the movie also. I know it sucks, it dies in the end, but like up until the last 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Okay, for today's thing, I made this barge out in the middle of the ocean because I wanted to try out these beer barrel floating platforms for the survival series. I wanted to see how awesome they are. They're pretty great, dude. They're like one of the greatest building things I've ever seen in this game before. It could fully support a Godzilla summoning uh, like station. So after this, I don't see why we wouldn't live like this forever. I haven't experienced it with whales yet, though. So I'm kind of... There's like no one here right now, but if there was at some point, this might be disa disastrous. Okay, so this is what you craft, the Godzilla Ark Egg. It has quite the lengthy recipe requirements. You do need a few artifacts and a trophy, the Beta Dragon Trophy. You also need a fertilized Carcodontosaurus Egg, which kind of sucks, but I mean, you got, I guess it's like mutating that creature with the other stuff to create Godzilla Ark. I get it, it's cool. Then you need some Godzilla Ark Energy, which is this green stuff, and you need melted elements. So let's show that first. Okay, so first what you build is this temple right here, which only requires 50 stone. That's the easy part. Then you have to craft these Godzilla art cones, which are way more expensive, 50 elements. This is like specifically why I couldn't do it in my survival series yet. You do only need one of them, but you can have up to three. And the more you have, the more uh, Godzilla energy you get. You basically just put the temple down. Oh, it's so ugly and in the way like this. And then you have the Godzilla heads that you place along the top. You do only need one once again, but it just generates way more with it. And then each each of these little turns will have their own right here godzilla arc energy they just like get it through the holiness of the temple shrine it's beautiful you do need 200 of it the godzilla energy but it gathers pretty freaking quickly like i don't even have it like this is just how much one of them gathered in like the last hour or so so if you don't have the money for it you really just need one of them but it just looks so much cooler with three like look at these freaking mossy godzilla ancient relic statues beautiful how much detail got put into the mod then you have to build the uranium forge which is pretty standard except it requires uranium dust but that's pretty easy too it's just like acid and metal and acid is just oil and spark powder so it's actually very simple careful with this crap though it's so freaking hot and yeah look see i just turned it on and now i have like testicular cancer i have 300 seconds of radiation i'm gonna die right now just turning it on damn dude that's crazy <laughs> so yeah be careful it's legitimately using a nuclear reactor. It's a very serious mod. This sucker just cooks down elements into melted elements, which you need uh, 50 of to make a Godzilla arc. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I just kind of spawn this stuff in, because it's like, why, why, why role play it? You know, this isn't my survival series, I don't care. It looks like it's taking a minute though. The radiation sounds of this are insane, bro. And then yeah, once you have the Godzilla Arc energy, the melted elements, the artifact, the trophy, the other two artifacts, and the fertilized egg, then you just craft a basic standard egg that you have to like do the whole thing with. I chose this, this incubator, because it looks like the kind of thing that would incubate a Godzilla egg. I went through like freaking 10 different mods and this one just looks beautiful. Of course then I don't know what I was going with the theme here because we have like a steampunk generator, but it, it, I don't know what I was thinking. This thing runs on wood though. It's freaking sweet, dude. It's like old school. I love it which gives you this, a fertilized Godzilla arc egg, which once done incubating will give you a baby Godzilla. Let's make our way over to shore. Also, you definitely need some prime irradiated fish meats. It's the only thing Zilla will eat and you gotta feed it to tame it, otherwise it will die. It's like pretty easy to craft. It's just, yeah, it's just uranium dust and fish meat or prime fish meat. All right, sucker. And then feed it real quick so it doesn't sprint off into the bushes. <laughs> I hate starting it out with abuse, but I'm stuck betwixt it. It's literally the baby from Madison Square Garden. It's growing super fast, which is good because it's got to get huge, dude. Its face is incredible. It's reminding me of a toy I had when I was a kid. 
A serious, I know this movie got so much hate, but these things, when I was little, these were like the coolest freaking dudes. I was like too young to have like hate. Oh, look at him from like the front perspective. I was too young to hate the movie, so I just kind of enjoyed the whole thing, and it was a beautiful experience. The detail in these dorsal spikes are crazy. It's like seashells, bro. Seashell design, which kind of makes sense, because isn't it like a nuclear irradiated iguana? I don't know. It was near a beach, or it was on a beach. There's like shells on a beach. I don't know. It connects. I should probably be feeding this thing and loving it in, oh. in ways. Wow. Keep feeding it fish. Dude, it's getting big. It's cool to watch him grow from a small to a big. Okay, it wants to go on a walk. I just want to see it like grow up in like the happiest childhood I could provide it. You know, it gave me a happy childhood. This thing's growing freaking fast as hell. Damn, dude, I wish we got to see him grow this big in the movie. They kind of died as like newborn babies. Now we just sit and watch it grow. Its face still looks so childlike, but it's like getting to more adult size. I wonder at what point it just like switches and stops looking adorable and starts looking mean as hell. There, now we have a perfect angle of it. I just want to see the exact moment its face goes from cute to mean. Because I've seen the face of the adults and it looks evil as hell. So at some point there's going to be the craziest transition into puberty. You know, the only thing that's unfortunate about this Zilla is like once you read up on it, they actually made it kind of humanoid on purpose, like specifically the humanoid shoulders, because for some reason they wanted it to be kind of sexy. Like they wanted it to have a slight sexy vibe. And that's pretty much like where everything went terribly wrong for society. Look at the detail in those gills. They're like moving and opening and separating as he moves his head. Oh, he's getting kind of more evil. I don't know, he doesn't look as cute and innocent as he did five minutes ago. I'm starting to see a bit of like a carnivorous apex in there. There's a luminosity setting to make him glow brighter, I think. So let's make it nighttime and see how beautiful it looks as it gets to adult. Oh, damn! Wow, that's beautiful! So green! I can't wait to see other crazy stuff that Pepe has planned for Ark Survival Evolved. The mod dev once again. I, I hope he does so much. I saw his Twitter one time and there was like the craziest stuff I've ever seen like that could be put into Ark Survival Evolved. There was like this Pokemon mod that had extreme realism. Like I've never seen a more realistic Lugia. And there was this Attack on Titan mod with the craziest Attack Titan ever. And it was all just like his creations. So I hope to God those get added one day. They're, they are like copyright, but I feel like there's ways around it. For one, this one's named Godzilla Arc instead of Godzilla. And, and, and another, the studio that made this guy pretty much doesn't care about him at all. They, they've completely abandoned him. They, they think he's trash and they kind of hate him. So the odds of them coming after this guy is just, it's just not gonna happen. Like this is, this is safe. But it's also called something else and it's kind of different. So even if they did, I feel like it'd be safe. Oh yeah, dude, he became a man. Look at that. No longer looking like an innocent little, I guess it's a woman. They're all females, Johnny, you dumb idiots. Well, looks there's a big strong man jaw for a woman. I'm sorry, but it's Jimungus. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, dude. I love how it still has its iguana-like neck pouch and similarities of such, but this like rainbow hue all over it is so freaking awesome. What a genius design plan. Dude thought about it, considered implementing it, and then did it beautifully. Oh, these dorsal spikes, holy crap. So beautiful. Oh, I cannot wait till we get my freaking minus one into Ascended. Now, minus one isn't gonna be as amazing as this. Pepe, the guy who made this, is a super professional. Like, it's still an adolescent, my god. Okay, we're taking Zilla on a little walk right now. She's so chimungous. I feel like it'll be much easier once we're the one controlling her. Big stuff never has much of an easy time in Ark, dude. I think running towards us though is crazy. 83% maturation, almost an adult, almost ready to take it out and check out all its abilities. And then it's time to grind my balls off so I can get it in my survival series. Oh, but yeah, minus one simply will just not be this amazing. The difference is this has been in development for years and years and years. He's just been waiting for a game to release it into. And minus one has been in development for like three weeks. Okay, it's, it's totally... Plus, he custom makes this entire model. That's why it looks so much more beautiful than anything most of us have ever seen in a video game. Except maybe like Cortana's big old blue Tiggo biddies. But like the minus one model is just like one that is like freely shared online. It was made in like a couple weeks. It's, it's a whole different animal. All right, are you an adult yet? Can't wait to unleash the power. All right, and now she is an adult. And we are able to put a set. Dude, that is a sweet saddle. Hang on, I'm gonna get a look at this. 
Oh, it's a big, awesome seat, and I'm holding a fork and knives. Hang on, what the hell was that? What? I, what was that a fever dream, or did that just... Like, there was forks and knives in our hands before, and now he's just holding his hands out like he was just holding a fork and knife. And now he looks like he's kind of pleasuring a couple ghosts in front of him. I don't know, I'm getting huge mixed vibes. And here she is. My God. She's magnificent. This is like the most cinematic experience I've ever seen. Look, I'm watching a scene from a movie. Wow, and the water kicking up when she steps down. Oh, ruined it. I don't know, it's still kind of awesome. That swimming animation is perfect. I'm a fan. It's a pretty damn cool creature. I'm so happy with this. The camera is super far back when you're riding on it in third person but I'm sure there's numerous reasons for such a thing. Cause like, there's usually a reason for everything. I could stomple down trees, trample? I don't think stomple's a word, but trees fall down, which is a cool thing. Cause otherwise they'd be getting stuck on them like crazy. Oh dude, watching something big just trample down a forest. Something about it, man. Oh, especially when you could see them over the top of the ridge of the trees. Wow, that trample damage is immense. And then you get to turn around and there's just a pathway. You know what? Not much of a pathway. I could watch this forever. This is the coolest thing. There's so many new attacks and animations as well, which I'm about to check out. It's just, it's, it's just so beautiful. Hubba hubba. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get into this. So first we've got the bites, which causes a bleeding effect. Nice. Right click is the atomic breath. Also has radiation damage. Damn! Well, there it is. So it's like a fireball followed by, it's like a, a pulse followed by a fireball followed by a beam. Our freaking C attack is claws. And you could mine metal, which I think is just phenomenal. Hang on. Let me try it on these. Yeah, look at that. You can pretty much gather every resource down there. So it's like the best freaking harvesting creature in the game as well. That's so great. That makes me so happy. Left control for tail attack. Damn, dude. Not only does he swing it around, but he fest or she, she festively jumps up with it. That's such a sweet animation. Every one of these has a hell of a cooldown, though. The roar, this freaking torpor. That's crazy. I think we just knocked that bug out down there, or he just died. Did he get knocked out? I have to freaking know. He did from the roar. That's so awesome. What a nifty thing. So it's also the best taming creature. I'm just like tally and everything up that it does amazingly. Yeah, that's so great. I only wish the camera was a little bit closer, but again, there's probably a reason for it. Dude, at level 25, this thing has so much freaking health. That's crazy. See, that's why it's gotta be really difficult to get right there. This is super end game. It's also probably not able to be brought into boss arenas. I don't know if something's changed, but usually it isn't. Yeah, that breath is nuts. I don't think it hurts everything around you with that initial pulse that goes out, but it's certainly very cinematic either way. You know what? You actually can spam it as well. It's purely just a stamina thing. I turned on infinite stats, the developer command, and now I can spam it. So I guess just like greatly increase your Zilla stamina. And then you can spam out horribly awesome things. I can't get over how amazing this thing looks, dude. There's two attacks that don't seem to be working. I wonder if it's just because the mod was just put out, but I think that's it. I feel like the major moves are working pretty fine, though. There's also this, which gives you a little freaking, like, death roll in the water. I guess it's not a death roll. It's more of a whirlwind water attack. Either way, though, it's great, because anything around you is going to get... Dude, they're getting 184,000 damage. That's crazy. I got stuck in a freaking rock, dude. <laughs> Damn. I would honestly not know how to get out of this situation if this was a survival series right now. This would be a very concerning situation. Like, what do you... What do you do? I guess you could put it in some sort of like cryo. I, yeah, that's that's what you'd have to do. All right, now it's time to test Zilla against an Alpha Megapithecus because I'm super curious how this will go down. He's level 25. That's not like much put into it. I feel like they could easily be much stronger. All right, let's get it all, little man. There's no way. <laughs> okay, um, that's usually why you can't bring Zilla into boss arenas right there for the most part. Okay, Zilla versus an army of Alpha Megapithecus. This is how we shall determine. Dude, this is gonna crash my freaking computer. My arc is going to crap, absolutely. But I'm pretty sure she could just run over them and they just die. 
At least this. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. This thing is so freaking powerful. I mean, the bite basically just one shots them all anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. But like, damn. Even this awesome claw attack. That's just gathering their resources. And it can carry everything. The only issue, once again, is stamina, bro. It's all just about stamina. Stamina is going to be the main thing with this dude. But once you have incre like mega stamina, nothing in the whole... Nothing's going to stop you anyways, to be honest. But I don't know. <laughs> it's just awesome. Oh, there's the jump. It did work in the end. You, you stinker, bro. I've been clicking X for like 20 minutes. And the jump finally... Whatever, at least I got to see it. It says it does high damage, but it also has a very long cooldown. There's so many apes down here. That's what atomic breath is for. This thing is incredibly powerful. Then it just walks off into the ocean. So I'm such a fan. I've been nerd out over this thing for so freaking long. I need to go start working for it in my survival series, but realistically it's more end game. So that might be kind of a, it's going to take a bit. Now I'm off to just watch this thing walk down the beach slowly and cinematically for the next like 35 minutes of my life. Just every time it steps on a new something, a new substance, it's a whole new ride. I think when he steps on the sand, he's just letting up sand. You see, it's cinematic. But then when he, or when she, when she steps on the water, I mean, I've covered this like 30 times by now, but it's just so beautiful. <laughs> I'm just, I was just being repetitive. So I should probably end the video here. Leave a like and subscribe for more Godzilla, and I'll see you next time.